the station that covers Kern County, 23 ABC News at 6. Recent crashes highlight the danger of tending our local fields from the air. Tonight, a local pilot talks about the hazards of the job. Preparing for the worst on college campuses. How training down south could help protect students here if a shooter ever opens fire. And helping parents spot the trouble signs of their kids getting interested in games. Well, we've all seen them flying low above our local fields and making what appears to be hair-raising maneuvers to avoid danger. The two recent crashes involving agricultural helicopters have highlighted the dangers of flying these machines. Earlier this week, a crop duster went down in a field in Fresno County. The pilot was spraying herbicide. His spotters say he suddenly told them he couldn't talk, and then he went down. That pilot survived, but another pilot was not as fortunate. Karen Johnson was killed when her chopper crashed last week near Delano. Johnson was flying the helicopter to help keep crops from freezing. Now, 23 ABC's Carlos Correa talked to a pilot today about the challenges of flying crop dusters. Scott Goodland is always concerned for safety. Safety is number one when you're flying. There's, there's a lot of things that can go wrong while you're flying. Goodland helps manage his family business, a crop dusting company that's been spraying fields for years. Can we apply pesticides and uh, that includes herbicides, insecticides, also fertilizers and seeds to fields. During the summer, pilots work around the heat, but in the winter, their busiest time of the year, the challenge is the fog. We send people out to check the fields, check our visibility before we even leave to go to the fields to make sure we have enough visibility and high enough ceilings to be able to get out to the fields. The weather isn't the only thing pilots have to keep a close eye on. They also have to be concerned over the distance between the plane and the crop and look out for power lines. Constant training in the aircrafts, regular plane maintenance, and the amount of chemicals on board keeps pilots safe during every flight. We ensure that they are using the right amounts, they're using the right rates, the right uh, spraying them on the right crops, and also ensuring that they're being safe as far as drift is concerned, ensuring that they're not move, uh, you know, making sure that the pesticide isn't moving off site onto unwanted uh, crops or structures. More people. Crews with the Department of Agriculture and Measurement Standards randomly send inspectors to sites making sure pilots, growers, and even ground applicators are using chemicals properly. We inspect anybody that uses a pesticide to ensure that they're following the directions of the label and also wearing the right safety equipment and handling all the pesticides and applying them safely. In Kern County, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.